we're all going to die. This is not up for negotiation. It is a simply stated fact. Something, someday, is going to get each and every one of us. To observe human behavior during the last few months of this Wuhan virus pandemic, you would think that we humans are convinced that we can somehow beat death by locking ourselves away, avoiding other people, collapsing our economy, and depriving healthy children and others of their right to a free and democratic society where we can each be the judge of what is best for our well-being. Initially, thanks to communist China, we knew nothing about the ramifications of this terrible flu, only that it was very contagious and deadly. We were told all sorts of things by the medical experts, and most of us followed their advice because we were told if we didn't, hospitals would be overwhelmed and millions would die. We needed to flatten the curve. Two weeks became a month, then two months, and now three months later, we are finally here in Ontario beginning the arduous process of opening things back up. We are still cautioned by the experts to take it slowly, lest the horse escape the barn. But the horse escaped the barn three months ago. Why are we still pretending that we can somehow magically reverse time and put him back inside? Whereas three months ago, we knew very little about what we were facing. We now see precisely who the most vulnerable among us are. Why are we not focusing our resources on protecting those who are elderly or with underlying conditions so that the rest of us can get back to living? If it is the virus that everyone is worried about catching, well, viruses have always been a part of our existence. We catch something, get sick, and most of us recover. And just maybe our immune system gets a good workout in the process and helps us to fight off the next germ that is floating around us waiting to pounce. How many people have had procedures put off, illnesses ignored, sick family or friends who are in hospital kept away from their loved ones at a time of need? Do those lives not matter? Or is it only that small percentage of the population that may be exposed to COVID? In the last few weeks, I've been lectured to by the snitches who elect themselves the morally superior members of a given community on why I should wear a mask and had to undergo recently the dystopian apocalyptic experience of trying to fly from my home here in Canada to the United States through a couple of major airports. There's no longer a need for this unnatural and unhealthy way of life. As Moses once said, let my people go. It's time to admit that none of us is getting out of here alive and allow us to take full advantage of the time that we do have left on this earth. as determined by each person, according to his or her own choices, while respecting the choices that others around us make. And if all else fails, protest something. We've all seen how effective that is at getting around the rules. <laughs>